guys, it's Raina. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing the books that I read in January with you guys. I'm going to be trying to do a spoilers free version of the books that I read just so that in case you guys want to read these books in the future and don't want to know what happens in detail, I'm just going to give you like the basic review that I can do of these books but still you know give my opinions and ratings and if you should read it if you shouldn't just spoilers free i'm also trying to read all the books on my 2024 tbr which i actually made a video about about a month ago or so it's only two videos back so if you do want to see that video first i'll go ahead and link it down below but i am trying to read most of those books if not all of them before the end of the year. So I did read four books in January and that's actually two books ahead of my reading goal. So I'm actually doing pretty well so far. All right, but let's go ahead and get started with all the books that I read in January. The first book that I read was A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J Maas. Of course, I wanted to start the year with the Akatar series. I have been thinking about these books since I started reading and started thinking about starting fantasy books so I finally decided to start the new year with this series and so far I am loving it. Um, obviously this is the first book in the series and just to let you guys know if you have been on Book Talk and YouTube and all that and you've been hearing about these series, you probably know that the first book is not everyone's favorite and it just gets better after this and you just have to power through reading this one. To me, I didn't dislike the first book. I actually enjoyed it really good, if that makes sense. That doesn't even make any sense, but I did really enjoy it. Um, I'm still new to the fantasy world, so it wasn't super hard getting into it, um, especially after reading Fourth Wing. So I did enjoy this book still, but there were a few parts that eh, were not the best, whatever. But I do really like this book, and it's a really good starter book, especially if you're just trying to get into fantasy. Um, but it's just about fairies, magic, all that sort of stuff and um, it's got a little bit of romance in it and has some world building so I think I rated this four and a half stars and yeah that's all I have to say about this book the second book that I read was A Court of Mist and Fury I just had to pick this up immediately after I finished A Court of Thorns and Roses so if you know, you know, everyone says that this is the best book in the series, if not the second best book in the series. I actually haven't finished the other three books yet, so I don't know yet, but to me, this is definitely my favorite book. It's so much better than the first one. It caught me off guard, to be honest with you, but I'm probably going to deem this book my favorite book of all time so far, so until I find a book that's better than this one, this is going to hold the spot for favorite book. This one just has a lot more character development and romance and even has like a plot twist at the end, which I was not expecting it to end that way, but it was just so good. So this book was, I think a little over 600 pages which took me a little while to finish but I just could not stop reading it it was just so good I just I wanted to keep reading this whenever I had the chance to read so yeah really really good I rated this five stars of course um Feyre and Reese chef's kiss I forgot to mention that I am planning to do a separate video on the whole Akatar series where I go into depth and tell you my thoughts, my opinions with 
all the details in them once I finish the series, but I still have to read the last three. So once I finish them, I will do a separate video just about those books because I'm passionate about them. So I'm gonna save that for a later time, but yeah, right now this is just gonna be spoilers free. All right, so the third book that I read actually was not on my TBR, but I wanted to read something kind of short because I was starting to near the end of the month and I didn't want to risk reading like a really long book and not finishing it. I'm kind of weird like that. Like I want to be able to read books between the actual month, like from the 1st till the 31st or whenever the month ends and I don't want it to like overlap. So I read a shorter book, but it wasn't on my 2024 TBR, but I did eventually want to read it. So I did read The Do-Over by Lynn Painter. I heard that Lynn Painter is a really good like romance young adult author. So her books are pretty easy and cute to read. So I did do The Do-Over as my first book by her. Um, I thought it was really cute and simple. I think it was only about 300-ish pages. Um, but basically it's about this girl who's in high school and she's celebrating Valentine's Day. She wants to have the best Valentine's Day ever and she wants to, you know, tell her boyfriend that she loves him but he cheats <laughs> and that basically prefaces the way that the rest of the book goes and she just basically repeats Valentine's Day a few times until it's perfected I guess you could say so yeah that's that's like the summary of this book I thought it was really cute but I'm not really into the whole like doing over the same day you know it kind of gets old but I thought she wrote it pretty well and it was still a cute story. Um, I think it's worth the read. It was really easy to read and fly through. So yeah, The Do-Over by Lynn Painter. I think I gave it four stars. And the last book that I read in January was actually The Silent Patient. This is a mystery thriller book. And again, it was another pretty short read. Um, 323 pages so I squeezed this in like the last couple days of January and I thought it was good I liked it but I don't think I liked it as much as I thought I would because this is another one of those books that was pretty well talked about and pretty hyped up about as well but I don't know I think because it was a little predictable I mean it only was predictable in like the last 50 pages I would say so that's not too bad like I didn't expect it to end that way like obviously in the beginning and the middle of the book but like once I got to like the last 50 or so pages I was like oh I think I know how this is gonna end and that's how it ended so I think that's why I gave it a little bit of a of a lower rating I think I rated it 3.75 maybe 4 but I still think that it's worth the read um, if you're into mystery thriller books it's a very fast paced um, and simple read in my opinion like it wasn't anything too crazy like you can understand everything that's going on and the story is interesting so I think you should still read this book if you want to read just like a quick fast-paced thriller, but it's definitely not my favorite thriller. All right, so those are all the books that I read in January. Let me know if you guys have read these books and what you rated them and what your opinion is on them. Of course, make sure it's spoiler-free if you're gonna comment. But yeah, let me know if you guys like those books, hated them, whatever. Um, and yeah, I guess I'll just see you guys in my next video. Bye!